Governor, uh, just looking back to last year, uh, what was your the, the biggest uh, sort of biggest lessons or takeaways you took from your first year here in America? Yeah, I learned a lot last year. Uh, you know, it, it takes a lot too, to play in this league. So, uh, yeah, I learned a lot from all the older guys and uh, just by playing and watching other players. What was your focus uh, coming into this year uh, as far as what areas you want to see growth from your game? Yeah, I think uh, just my using my size, you know, uh, be better at protecting pucks and uh, just take it to the net, uh, get some more more shots. Uh, and yeah, you just uh, use use my my skills. Is your shot something that you feel like you can tap into more? Obviously, very powerful shot. Yeah, exactly. I want to use it more. Uh, it's. Uh, I think uh, I have a good shot, so I just have to use it more and try to get more shots off uh, every single game. Playing with Casper and Bergeron lately, is it different at all to play with two other kind of young up and coming guys versus playing with veterans, or is it mostly the same thing? Uh, it depends. I mean, some it's, of course, like the vets probably get more routine and stuff like that, but. Uh, Playing with two skilled young guys, it's also very good. Uh, a lot of energy, a lot of speed. So, yeah, I think uh, it's it's a good line. Is the, the physical game utilizing your size more? Is that something also that you'd like to do? Yeah, of course. Uh, I think I can use my body more, uh, like add another dimension to my game. Uh, so I'm working on that too. You know, trying to just uh, get in some more hits every single game. So uh, yeah, that's the part I'm working on. Uh, the injury uh, last year and your season ended. How much did that set you back at all, as far as your summer, your training, or anything, or did you recover quickly from that? Yeah, it was actually pretty tough. It was a long, long recovery phase. Uh, had issues, uh, big parts of the summer. Uh, try to uh, work as much as I can. So uh, yeah, it was it was a tough injury. You know, always all, all head injuries are always special and uh, and tough. So. Uh, yeah, um, but I'm, I'm glad I'm feeling better now and uh, ready to go. It was a head injury from a hit in the game? Yeah. And you were clear, were you clear like right before camp? Or right yeah, I think so. Before? How often do you bounce ideas and just kind of talk to your brother throughout the season and off season? Yeah, we have a good contact. Uh, it's always fun to to watch him and follow his game. So uh, yeah, we have a lot of contact. So with, with the recovery from the I know that, that, that can be a lot of stops and starts that you'll try to do some exercise and then they have to pull you back. Is that what you're saying when you had kind of issues in the summer? Or uh, yeah, it was like more more like a slow process to getting to 100%. That's basically it. Thanks, Albert. Yeah, thank you. thank you guys. See, Derek, uh, just talk about uh, Soderblom and just how he's looked uh, coming back from the injury and just in prospects tournament camp so far. Looks good. Uh, obviously, a really good rookie uh, tournament. I thought he played well the other night in the game. We'll get another chance tonight. Um, I think he's, you know, just progressing. Um, you know, I think when you what you saw in his game last year was a little lack of consistency, and I think you know he's trying to do that for his game this year. What, uh, beyond the consistency, but is there any, any particular uh, focus for him as to what to improve on this season? Yeah, I just think a little more jam all the time. You can see it in, in at moments. Um, I liked uh, through the rookie games and the game of the day, just a simple habit of finishing your checks. Obviously, that big body being hard to play against. And I just think some of his play away from the puck. He's obviously very noticeable. With the puck, his ability um, to control the puck, especially down low. I just think those habits away from the puck, uh, being a little more responsible defensively, uh, helping us out with our team game a little bit. Have you seen players throughout the preseason camp kind of embrace and take on some leadership roles with all these young guys? Yeah, I just I, I, I think we took a step in that category from last year to this year. I think a little more comfort, familiarity. Obviously, we incorporated some new guys into our leadership last year. Uh, Cop, uh, Perron, uh, Sherat, and I think it'll be similar this year. Uh, obviously, there's uh, a handful of guys, newcomers that have worn letters uh, in this in the league before, 
So I think it's 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 a good sign. It's still always a work in progress. You said last season too. There's a lot of quiet leaders in the dressing room. Have you seen some of those quiet leaders maybe come out of their shell, or is that just? Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't have to think that through. I think the group's in a pretty good spot right now. Um, morale's high. I think there's still some excitement from uh, what we acquired uh, over the uh, off season and into camp, and uh, guys still are excited about what we got going on here. A lot of times, younger guys like centers, <clears throat> uh, when they make it to the NHL, they kind of transition starting on the wing. I think that's what Larkin did his first year. Given that, did you, you'd like to see Danielson and Casper kind of play both center yep. and wing? Yep, absolutely. You can never have enough center depth. Those guys that can do both seamlessly are extremely valuable. Um, uh, obviously, we had Danielson and Casper both at center. In their first exhibition games, uh, we're going to give Danielson an opportunity on the wing in our, uh, with a couple veteran guys, uh, NHL veteran guys. So, yeah, of course, you want to keep developing them at center. Uh, those are just valuable guys. They were drafted as centers. We want to keep developing them as uh, centers. What are the biggest things you would like Nate to take out of the experiences he gets this preseason? The habits, the pace of the game. Uh, it's just you see it all the time. Those, some of those things you can get away with. Uh, in junior, you know, you can't get away with here. And you can see it in his game sometimes. He'll go through stretches where um, he plays well. The unbelievable poise with the puck. You don't want to take that away from him. But that same poise has led to some turnovers. Um, has led to some mistakes, which is all part, I think, of the process. The other day you said you still think there's some competition happening for, for roles. And for oh, yeah. Where yeah. And well, again, it, it, it's, I don't know if I specifically, you know, call out guys, but not only is there for spots, but there's there's potentially battles for that 13th spot, um, an eighth D potentially, obviously within our uh, net. Um, so I think there's some healthy competition to make this team. Uh, there's also some healthy competition for some roles too. Is one of those roles that the net front role and power play you want to get different guys to look? A little of that, I think. So. But some of sometimes it's a little more about just what hands they are too. Um, you know, so we just we like most power plays. If you watch around the league, ideally you want that hand uh, and an open stick available when someone's coming downhill. So there's a little of that. Um, so yeah, still as you saw. You know, pretty much to what I expected. Uh, we've, we're rifling through a lot of looks, different looks uh, on the power play. And you'll see that again through tonight and into tomorrow's game. Oh, who's uh, you got? Of course, who's still starting? You yeah. say he's going to play just the first half, and then who's going to play the second half? Uh, Hutchinson is going to play the first half. I literally, I, I apologize. I stuttered one of these other day. Two teams going at once. Practice here, practice there, and. We have six, seven goalies going. I kind of leave that up to our, our goalie group, even management, on who they want to see in volume. So, yeah, Huso will be playing the first 30, and then Hutch will be playing the last 30. What do you think you're going to look at, at Ben Sharap in preseason? Yep, Ben uh, actually practiced today. I know you guys were over in the uh, morning skate for the game tonight, the, the, the team playing tonight. But, yeah, he actually practiced tonight. Uh, I think he was – Anxious to maybe play tomorrow. Uh, I think we'll probably wait, maybe get a look at him on Tuesday. What have you liked about Lucas, Dylan, and the Alex together, and where do you see room for them to keep growing together? I think they get, obviously they can both transport. They both are really good at entries. It's just a little more time they've spent together. You can see a little more comfort uh, in their game. And I think a little bit has to come within our zone, too. Obviously, they were involved in a a big defensive miscue ended up in the back of our net, Pittsburgh's first goal the other night. So, yeah, maybe a little more comfort offensively, just getting a feel of where they're going to be and the thought process offensively, but even defensively too. So, you know, it's kind of the one pair that we've kind of been consistent with. And uh, we'll give uh, Razor another look up on that line tonight too. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Jason.